Hello everyone, how are you all doing today? Hey Mona, don't do that. So, we are here to prepare Nigerian food called Uwa. I know the English name, <laughs> but I can't remember right now. So, but I'm going to put the English name right here. So, let's continue. Let's go to the kitchen. Um, let's see here. So, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about this food called Uwa. This is my favorite food, okay? Uwa is my favorite food. You guys can see me. Hold on. So when I was in Nigeria, you know, somebody asked me, what's your favorite food? I say Uwa. So, this is the Uwa my dad got for me when I was pregnant, okay? So, he got this Uwa for me for um, Amogo. If you guys know what it's Amogo, if you're from Nigeria, you know what it's Amogo. Amogo. So this Uwa, I still have it. It's like, it's dried. This is the last, this is the remaining one. This is the one I have in the pots right now. And then, um, you know, he got it dry. So as long as it's dry, it can last forever. Okay? So, so this is how it looks like. You can see it's just like a dry, very hard. So what I do, I soak it in the water for I think two days ago. Usually I usually soak it like overnight, but I think I did like two days, like last mm. night. Not this last night, the other night. So this morning, sorry not this morning, it's already evening. So it's already tall. So I washed it really well and uh, I'm just gonna boil it, put it in here, and take some water. Yeah. Uwa is kind of is very easy to prepare, it's nothing that much. So I'm just gonna like pour this water inside it. You can see it has some some black stuff on it. I don't even know where to show you guys, but so this is um you know it has a shell on it, so if you have a little bit shell, it's fine. So I'm just gonna put on the light and um Uwa takes time to get done if you don't use Okamu which, which I don't know what it's called in English or if you don't use um hold up this thing this is one my, my dad got for me and they shipped this from Nigeria so they got me a lot of like fish and a lot of stuff so this is Gosh, what is this? You guys know this, right? I can't remember the name. But it's just like um uh, <laughs> just like like smash sand, like powder or something. So you put it inside, maybe I'll just take a little bit and put like this, put water on it, and then use like a net to like you know get the water out so you don't get all this um inside. So, it's going. So this is it. You can see how. What am I showing you guys? Oh my god! You can see how it is. So I have this net. This is like kind of a socks net. I can't remember. I think I cut it from my socks, or maybe like one of my weak. Gosh, why is this baby pushing me? Why are you pushing me? Why are you pushing? Push, 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 push. So I'm gonna use that to like you know do like this and so that all this sandy stuff that I'll show you the sand on it okay so this is the water I got from it you can see it's more clear now I think I'm probably gonna do it second time and then this is the the sandy thing I'm gonna move the water a little bit off the hood babe stop doing that what are you so you can see. So this is gonna throw away. So I just need the water. Are you kidding me? You just pulling my hair. I gotta go. Where oh my god! I didn't know I wasn't talking. I was videoing. I thought I was talking. Oh my gosh! I already poured the water. You know the water I got from from this thing. So you can see the opal is dark now. So that would take less 
time. What, baby? Now we make it, you know, the opa will get done faster and take off instead of, you know, staying like hours or something. So we're going to wait until it get done. I'll be back. So you can see it's boiling and uh, I actually put more of that thing because it was taking a little bit longer. Then I have to put more of um, that powder, you know, the way I did it with the net. So now it's really, really soft. So, mm, mm, yeah, it's well. So I just gotta put, I'm gonna put a little bit, mm, just a little bit because I want to put cayenne pepper, but if it's in Nigeria, you know, you put like fresh pepper on it, but um, I want it to be all this more kind of spicy. Like I said, I'm the only Nigerian in my house, so whenever I cook Nigerian food, I'm the only one eating it. I also got red oil, but I'm gonna let the, the pepper stir a little bit, and then I will add the cayenne pepper and then I'll put salt and a little bit I have this I like this no Maggie is my crush um, you can put the cube too if you want so we'll be back I'm gonna lower the stove a little bit down okay, it looks like it's kind of sticking a little bit Ooh, okay so I'm gonna put the oil some people like you know take the water out you know but I didn't want to take the water out sometimes people like when I was in Nigeria I was gonna put the maggi and then I put salt you have to be careful with your salt on this food because you don't put a lot of salt so I'm just gonna make my porridge So I want it to be a little bit watery too because after some time it will like, you know, plug together. So like I said, um, after it boils, sometimes some people like to, oh yeah, I put cayenne pepper? Okay. Oh, Why is it bubbling? So I want to put a lot of cayenne pepper on this. This one is to be spicy. Right? And that thing I put, that red thing before uh, cayenne pepper is paprika. I, I haven't tried it. I haven't put, <laughs> put that, but I just put a little bit. I don't think it's will hurt. So, so, I think that's, that's it. You know, my opa is ready. If you want it to be a little bit watery, maybe I'll put, and I won't put water right now, but tomorrow I'm going to eat some now for the evening then tomorrow it's gonna stick together you know it's gonna be more it won't be this liquidy then i had one but um let's test it mm, okay oh yeah so that's my opa that's my opa sav i'm gonna go enjoy it sometimes people put like fish or meat or I think I've tried one of meat or fish. I don't really like it. You know, for you to cook like the men over, this is how they cook it. You don't have to add too much. But then sometimes people go astray. I haven't eaten it since my dad. You know, I, I eat it during Omogo when my mom was, you know, when I had a baby, my mom was cooking different Nigerian food for me. But I kind of, if you eat it too much, you kind of get tired of it or, you know, you won't like to eat it anymore. So that's kind of what happened to me. So I ate it too much. And just like I said, it was my favorite food. Or it's still my favorite. I, I love it anyway. I ate it too much and um, I got tired of it. So Mona is eight months now. And after eight months, I decided to try it. And the taste is still the same. It's dry, so it will never get spoiled. So, love you guys. And I'll see you guys later. I can't wait to try this. <laughs>